Since the early 1930s, the military powers have focused on the research and development of attack aircraft models to gain great advantage on the battlefield. The Soviet Union was considered a leader in this field, with an extremely effective aircraft model, the Ilyushin Il-2 Sturmovik. The Ilyushin Il-2 had a wingspan of 14.6 meters, an empty weight of more than 4 tons, a maximum takeoff weight of 6.2 tons. It was equipped with a Miklin AM38F liquid cooled V12 engine, 1280 horsepower. The Il-2 could reach a top speed of 410 km per hour, a range of 765 km, a service ceiling of 4525 meters, an endurance of 2.75 hours. One of the Year 2's original armaments was the MP6 machine gun, which was later replaced by 23mm VYA cannons. According to the documents of the Soviet Red Army, the Year 2 attack aircraft is the most decisive aircraft in the history of modern land warfare. Air 2 could operate in both day and night, capable of destroying the thick armor on the German Panther and Tiger I tanks, shooting down even the German BF-109 fighters. In the biggest tank battle in history, the Battle of Kursk, on July 7, 1943, 70 German tanks of the 9th Panzer Division were destroyed by Air 2s in just 20 minutes. According to military experts, in addition to its offensive capabilities, the Air 2 also has the ability to defend itself extremely well against enemy anti-aircraft artillery shells, making it the best attack model in the world in terms of efficiency and cost. The Air 2's armor covering the engine and cockpit was 5 to 12 mm thick, capable of resisting small rounds and fragments of large caliber 20 mm shells. Thanks to its strong armor protection, an Air 2 could withstand multiple shots and was a nasty target, both for ground and air fire by the Nazis. However, the thick armor only accounts for 25% of the fuselage. Other parts, such as the main wings, tail, and rear fuselage, were designed to be quite thin to reduce weight and create maneuverability for the aircraft. This caused the Soviets to suffer many casualties in the beginning, because the German fighters concentrated their fire on the rear of the plane. According to official reports, the rear gunners were not protected by armor and suffered four times higher casualty rates than the front pilots. After that, Soviet engineers decided to make a cover of special synthetic material to protect the tail of the Air 2. This reduced the penetration ability of German anti-aircraft artillery shells and fighters to a minimum. On impact with the composite material, all the shells exploded and broke the cover, leading the Germans to believe that the plane had been destroyed. However, the Air 2 inner steel remained intact, making it 
fully capable of continuing to fight and returning to base. The Luftwaffe was surprised. Even there was rumors that the Soviet Air II was designed with the ability to heal itself because they clearly witnessed with their own eyes hitting the plane but immediately the hull closed. The reality on the battlefield proved that. Special cover gave Air II a tough fatality. Hundreds of Air IIs returned to the airfield with dozens of holes in the armor compartments, wings, and tail. Together with the next generation aircraft, the Illusion Air 10, a total of 36,183 attack aircraft were built, making the air attack aircraft the most massively built military aircraft design in the history of world aviation. My video about Ear to Sturmovic Answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.